So boys, got two collections dropping, 18, 19 October, 18 for everybody on the vault, 1300 Eastern Standard, and 19, 1300 Eastern Standard for everybody else. Let's talk about this bad boy, collaboration with half Face Blades. If you guys don't know Andy Arabito and all the stuff he's doing out there, the dude is an absolute craftsman. Known him a long time, me and Cole went to Buds together with him. We deployed in 2005, been long time friends, and he really helped us kind of guide through the transition, just being out of the SEAL teams, not really knowing what to do, and social media, and building brands, and really he's done a lot for us, and this has been a long time coming. Based off our original design we did with Dan Winkler, just we really wanted to shrink it down and give a more purpose-built dagger, something you can carry every single day, but it's gonna be limited to 250 pieces, seven inches in total length, double chisel design, G10, Calling that chain link scales. Meets up so good in the hand, dude. Got his logo, our logo. We took the cross guard, gave it a slight bevel, a little bit of an edge, wanted around the corners. That way it fits super comfortable in the hand. So I've got average to, to larger size hands. It fits so well in there. And we were trying to get the cross guard just a slight bit flare out. So that way, if you've got an over grip pinky, you cap on the thumb on the back of the pommel, it really gives you all that purchase you can really sink in a strike you're not having to worry about your hand slipping forward and cutting yourself or losing grip that's why we did the flared pommel as well just so when you make this thing up and you get a full purchase out it's not leaving your hand those guys are absolute wizards man beautiful job on this dude that g10 chain link scale fits so well in the hand a little bit of jimping for some texture but just overall great got a 1.5 inch dcc uh clip on there kydex sheath again 250 pieces of these coming out Awesome work, dude. We're looking forward to doing more with these guys in the future. If you have not checked out Half Face Blades, you're probably living under a rock. So remove yourself from under the rock and definitely check those dudes out. Knocked out two different shirts. Got the collab design shirt. Short range tools for those on the offensive. That made up of Andy's logo and our logo looks seamless, dude. Josh and the boys killed it with that. Looks like it was naturally supposed to be together anyway. I think in the last couple months, I've really become a sucker for a center hit on the chest. I like the way it falls on body. I think it looks good as fish for dudes. A little bit bigger up top. Same blank we've always done, that 6210, that 6040 blend, all our instructor shirts like that. So if you bought from us before, it's the exact same blank, dude. Knocked out a lockup in the same gray we always do. Same thing, 6040 blend. That is such a hard hit, dude. Those guys crushed that. You can see the dagger going through Snake's uh, neck. Again, awesome job by those guys. Super sick shirt. And knocking out double sticker pack, the collab and the lockup. Those things are great. So double stickers with that. Now transition over to Terrible Night. We kind of rerun this thing every time around Halloween. It's really, it's showing the progression, everything we've talked about over the year. Always on the offensive, be a pro, hard to kill, you know, all the other things. And now at some point you have to be able to spit on your hands, hoist a black flag and start slitting people's throats. And that's ultimately what that's what Terrible Night is. I will come for you in some Terrible Night. And I think everybody has to have that. Jordan Peterson talks beautifully about it. Being a monster that's under control. But if you don't have that to you, you're really not a formidable opponent. That's, I think everybody has to have that in the back of their mind. I am willing to go to a dark place to save those who I love. And that's really what this collection is all about. And you have to have that deep down inside you. And that's what we're kind of fostering with this. So knocked out Joker's Wild again. I love that front hit, dude. It's kind of nostalgic for me. Knocked that single hit in the back. You guys remember this from the last one, always on the offensive drop. I told you you'd see it again. The guys did such a great job with it, man. It's one of my favorite pieces we've done. Just, it says a lot without saying a lot. Knocked out a long sleeve too. Same comfort colors we do. Any of you guys have any of the instructor shirts we've done before. Fits really good on body. A little bit heavier weight, but it sits really good on the guys. But wanted to knock out a, a full color hit just so everybody could see that in all its glory. And then want to give you guys a mid-weight hoodie. Same when we've been running. You know, it's getting a little bit colder here in Virginia Beach. So something you can work out in, something you can do 20-minute walks in. It's not so thick that you're burning up all damn day. But yeah, I want to give you guys another full color hit on this. Knocked out two more stickers. Black on white. All black one. A little bit reflective. I think it looks tough, man. For all you now gene enthusiasts out there, we knocked out one that's actually glow in the dark. It actually glows pretty well. I have the boys knock out us and B-roll so you can see it, but my kids are trying to steal it from me right now. Luckily for me, I've got a case of them so I can steal one, but these things are super cool, dude. Everybody loves a now gene. Never had a glow in the dark one before, so wanted to knock that out for you guys. Knocked out a new hat. Same thing we typically do. Got our front hit. Added a little rope touch on this one. Got our subdued G on the back. 
but the same Richard snapback, the 112 everybody knows and loves. Yeah, dude, they're killing with the embroidery down there. I just love that design, man. It's simple, it's clean, terrible night, and it lets you know sometimes you have to go to a dark place to save those who you love. So, that's that. So we've got half-ace blades dropping 1819 along with Terrible Night, and we are also launching Hydra V2. We've got a long form, the origin story of the actual Hydra, why we came up with the concept, what we were doing, how long it's been in production, then all the different variants we've come up to. But this is dropping in all the variations, Aimpoint, EOTech, Trigicon MRO, M5 Comp B and S, Duty RDS, everything's dropping out, and that's available. 18 for all the guys on Patreon, appreciate all the support, and 19 for gin pop as we call it for everybody else. So be on the lookout for these. So again, fellas, that's breaking down the half face blades collaboration with GBRS. It's terrible nights. The Hydra V2, 250 of these bad boys dropping and everything else. We really appreciate the support, man. One of the favorite drops of the year by far. Really trying to end the year on a high note. Really just the culmination of everything we've done. All the soft goods really tell the story. And this is kind of how we're going to cap it off with. Sometimes you have to be willing to, to go to a dark place to save the ones you love. And that's really what the terrible night is. We appreciate you guys. We'll talk soon.